Now to the Surfside building collapse, and several organizations are joining forces to help survivors at Champlain Towers South find new homes, and that includes helping to ease the financial burden that goes along with that process. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer tells us more. The road ahead is a long one for the survivors of the condo collapse in Surfside. What we do know is that we're here and we're alive. On Wednesday morning, more help for the people who lived in the Champlain Tower South. They survived, but their building, their home, is gone. Today is really about now what's the next steps, right? The Global Empowerment Mission teamed up with other groups to help those survivors. From day one, they had boxes with things like toothbrushes and chargers. On Wednesday, they announced they'll be helping financially with money to help pay for some rent and security deposits as these families look for a new place to live. This is not like a hurricane where you got three or four days to pack your suitcases and you can leave or you're living in California, you know about earthquakes. This is just out of nowhere. Stephen Rosenthal lived on the seventh floor of the Champlain Tower South. I hope you all understand that we're all starting over again, that we're going to continue to need your help, whatever you can do. And the help has really come from all over. Jem helping to get gift cards and visa cards for the families right away. After helping financially with their new homes, the group and its partners will also help with things like silverware or pots and pans, the little things that help make a home for the people who lived but still lost. In Doral, I'm Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4 News.